Hi guys, it's Kevin Young from Light Mantid. Um, I'm here in the new shop in the office area and I uh, thought I'd do a little live stream today just to answer some of your basic questions about what's going on with Moonlight Mantids and um, what we're doing with uh, with the storefront now. Um, so I'm just going to sit here and try to get some work done. If anyone wants to join me and ask some questions, um, go ahead and uh, uh, you know let me know um, if, you're in, if you're curious about anything. Hey, it's Kobe. What's up with Kobe? First. Isaac, yeah. Um, it's been a while since I've live streamed. I know it's really, really late. Uh, I had a fresh hatch here in the shop that I was just separating. I'm taking a little break. I'm gonna do a little live stream. Hey, from Scotland. Hey, what's up? <laughs> you guys would be awake right now. Um, is it cold in Scotland, by the way? I bet it is. I have purple winged mantis. That's cool. Um. Anyway, just ask questions if you guys want to. Um, I'm uh, I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna take a little break here. Uh, if you guys want to know, yeah, it's freezing. <laughs> yeah, it's cold over here. You're going to send me mantids. I think you're out of the country, dude. Can't send mantids out of the country, Kobe. Anyway, um, yeah, I, uh, we got a new building, and uh, we have a. Uh, a lot of new things happening here in the store. I gotta get rid of this. You guys are like blowing it up. I can't even see the screen. No. Let me see here. So uh, we're opening a storefront. Um, this uh, location is a was an old train station here for this area. Um, so it's, it was called the depot. Um, so now I guess what I'm gonna call it is the reptile depot. Um, an all invertebrate store probably wouldn't do too good, but it is an exotic animal reptile store. So the Reptile Depot um, will be opening in the next couple of months. We just finished uh, a lot of the major remodeling. Um, we got some plumbing work to do. And then um, besides that, we got the displays and the product line and the, um, the different animals we want to display and sell, um, which will also be available online to anyone in the United States. Um, to order um, along with the mantids and everything else. Um, it is technically a separate business. Um, let me see, let me hide that. Let's see here, I get my little office area here. Um, I'll set this back up. So I'll just tell you a little bit more. Um, uh, it's been a hard few months. Um, just trying to move, set things up, getting permitting. Um, keeping things alive before you know doing everything quickly before it got too cold for things to um, you know before it got too cold and you know we, we killed things by trying to move them keeping things going um, so more recently we've been incubating a lot of the ooth that uh, we've produced in the last couple of months um, really turning them up so they could hatch and um, we got our first hatch uh, for a while now today and um, I'm getting it separated um, we still have a lot of nymph and things like that, which people are ordering, thankfully, and um, we um, will be sending those orders out here because there is a little, a nice little break in the weather from Black Friday. Um, anyway, let me see. Let me watch your stuff. Watched every video. Keep them up. Thank you. Uh, thanks, guys. Oh, wait. Mm, I can't see your questions. Anyway, um, let me know what you think about the new store or the idea for the store, the Reptile Depot. Um, you know, uh, Moonlight Mantis has grown so much that um, it's become just a, a monster to manage. Um, I'm getting some new help um, for for the business and stuff. Um, we did relocate to um, the business relocated to Cuba City, Wisconsin. Here, we're about uh, 15 minutes from Dubuque. So, let's see, what questions you have? Well, let me see here. I'm trying to look at your guys' messages. Do you have any info on the panther mantis? I got one, and I can't find any info on them. The panther mantis, um, I know they're a communal species. I know that uh, the males and females, uh, the males are, uh, live a pretty decent amount of time. They're not as short-lived as normal male mantids, I guess. Um, I heard uh, they do pretty well. I don't know anyone that's managed to successfully breed them, though. 
Not sure how you got them, but uh, I haven't even had that species. Um, and the few people that have, have managed to raise a few of them, but they're relatively new. So um, I don't know too much about them other than they're, they're communal and they're pretty nice looking mantids. Um, I think they're from Kenya um, in Africa. Anyway, um, yeah, we, we had a lot of success with um, uh, some of the different roaches and things like that that we were breeding. Um, they just exploded, so there's going to be a lot more of those videos. Um, all the ants that we had that I, the Aphenogaster that I bred, that was a fun project. Um, I have all the queens survived. All the queens have 50 or more um, workers. Um, they're all doing really well, and I really enjoy keeping them. Um, they were they were an interesting project. We um, do have an update video for the uh, um, Ant to Adult series for the Ghost Mantids. We have sub-adults, and I'm just waiting to get some footage of their final molt, and then we'll be making the next episode of that. Um, I'm going to do a bit more here for YouTube as I can. It's, let me see. Okay. You just talked about your Panther Mantis. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's uh, it's nice to know they're pretty docile species. Um, yeah, I haven't had any yet. If I get a chance to, I will. Um, see if anyone else has any success with them first. I've been a little too busy to uh, get in any of the newer mantids right now. It's just uh, the my favorites and uh, of course the ones that um, that are easily kept. I dropped my pen. That's okay. So I'm just taking a little break. Um, I might walk around a little bit and show you guys the shop. Um, this is the office area to the shop, my office, and I'll pick up the camera and show you. Let's see here. There's one, two computers, there's my clock, my plants, that uh, purple clover has seen better days. Got all my stuff open here. <laughs> here I have my couple aquariums. Random stuff there, some other supplies. I have some moths getting ready to hatch. Um, yeah, it's same old, same old here. Um, just trying to get stuff done. It's just a mountain, mountain of obstacles when you're opening a store. Um, that now the weather turned um, just as we were getting settled. So shipping is a little here or there. Um, I do have some help coming, thankfully. Um, Hopefully uh, things will get a bit smoother here shortly. Uh, we did send some, we sent quite a few orders out, I think it was last week, and um, they, um, I think a vast majority of them showed up uh, um, in, in good condition. So we just gotta make sure we're playing the odds with the weather and getting them out. So uh, nothing's um, frozen. Yeah. Um, just a quick update, I guess. I think it's four in the morning here, so some of you guys will just be waking up. I'll be able to do a lot more YouTube stuff, that's for sure, and I'm excited to do it. Just as long as we can uh, get things caught up and, you know, make sure we're sending things out so they're alive which requires some patience, you know, that and all the, the stuff that happened, it was so busy. Hi Rose, how's it going? That's uh, my, my good friend Rose, she's in some of the videos with me. Um, yeah. Guess I'm a little out of practice with YouTube. Um, let me show you some of the shop, I guess. Well, I'm at it. It's a decent sized space, so I'm gonna walk around and show you some of the stuff here. Getting out, walking out of the office area here. There's a lot of the shipping supplies and my beehive. And nothing fancy there. Got all our nice planted tanks, some shelving. Those are gonna be where the new hatches go, of course. Um, you all remember my nice, beautiful rack system, which has uh, a lot of cool critters on it. All the different tarantulas and things like that, roaches, and then we have here. Let's see if we can find Banana Face. Um, he is right here. 
It's right there. Say hi, banana face. He sneezed all over the glass. That's what iguanas do. Um, I'll show you the back. These are the front windows to the store back here. Yep. I got a, just got a TV up too. Let me walk over here. Show you guys that. Just our nice big empty space. Um, just an area like when you walk into the store, there's going to be nice displays all the way along. Um, these are just some of my personal ones. They're not the ones that'll be up here. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll just do a little quick uh, 360 sort of action of the, the shop right now. Kind of a mess. Stuff everywhere. Fire extinguisher. We're waiting for the fire marshal to come in. Um, we got our exit signs, though. See, look. Um, can you see it? There it is, right there. We got one on the other side, too, for the other door back there. Yep. So, um, yeah, if you guys get a chance, there, this is not what the store will look like yet. This is just all the stuff from my shop. Um, we're going to get things organized. Big empty space over here. We're not even going to do anything with that yet, um, except for, uh, you know, there's some painting to do to be done yet. We're going from uh, this tan color to this nice sort of light gray. Um, yeah, there's a, it's a pretty nice size shop. I mean, it's pretty big. Front store, front door all the way to the way back in the office area. So you're getting kind of a look at the shop. Um, anyway, uh, I want to make more YouTube videos, but uh, unfortunately, I don't have that much time right now. Um, I will be able to get more time. If you guys want to make a donation, you can. Uh, there's a link now on our homepage, I guess. And um, if you guys can afford me the time to make more videos, I will. Um, and I plan to anyway. Let me see. I don't know if you guys can't see anything in these little displays of mine. They're just my planted tanks. There's nothing in them. Um, just plants and stuff. But yeah, I got my little hatch here, which I'll show you guys. I'm just sitting down. I set up a table in the middle of the shop just so I can uh, separate some nymph and stuff. There they are. Some nice nymph. Um, and I think it were griffin mantids that hatched, um, which is nice because I've kept that line alive for like four years now, I think. Um, last year, I don't think I produced many more than just a few breeders, but they did make some ooth and they did hatch, so that's good. Um, yeah, if you guys uh, want to support the YouTube channel, you can. Um, Otherwise, you guys can also place orders. It is winter time though, so things are really slow, which sucks. But you know, you ordered live bugs, not dead ones. So I, um, you know, try to try to send them out so you guys get stuff that's alive and healthy. Um, you're gonna meet the new crew very shortly. Um, there's already quite a there's a few that I think for sure will be joining us, and then there's a few more to come. Uh, you're going to see the shop evolve as time goes. I'll make a little bit, you know, not a live stream video, but I'll make like a nice tour sort of um, video where I show you guys more in depth everything. And then um, as things evolve here, it should be, I don't know, maybe a month or two. And the Reptile Depot will be open. And of course, we're going to have a lot of cool insects in the door. Um, and of course, when you place orders now in my mantids, you can come pick them up. Um, you can come meet me here. I'll pretty much always be here, um, along with uh, with my help. Um, hoping to find really good help, like I had. Um, we'll see. And then, um, yeah, we're 15 minutes outside of Dubuque now. And uh, if you guys want more, uh, want to see more videos, just uh, go ahead and um, leave me a few requests. You know, some messages. There are a trillion emails to go through, by the way. You guys leave me so many emails. It's hard to decipher what's a customer email, what's a uh, <laughs> Rose. <laughs> She's jealous of the new crew. That's okay. Um, it's, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, there's so many emails. Hard to decipher who's a customer, who's, uh, who's just a fan, who's, you know, someone just making an inquiry, and, you know, who's just got questions on care. And in the move, of course, um, we left our employees behind. Uh, none of them could move with us, of course, um, although that option was given to them. <laughs> um, I wanted them to come. But uh, anyway, so we're starting over here. That's why we're so shorthanded, and that kind of sucks. But uh, um, we're, we'll get through it pretty quickly, and uh, things are taking off. We got uh, hatches again. 
Um, we have a lot of great new stuff to show you that I've sort of been hoarding over the last few, last couple of months. And I'm glad the store is starting to take shape. I'm, I'm just happy we got it nicely insulated in here. It's a really good looking shop. I mean, it's, it's going to be a nice little, little storefront, but, um, we do now have like an open door location, which is really cool. Um, should be the only one like it. So, um, if you're lucky enough to live near Dubuque, Iowa or anywhere in Wisconsin, um, or Illinois, you know, you can, Northern Illinois, then you can, um, maybe you'll make the drive and come visit. Um, yeah, I'll have all kinds of cool displays that I have lined up, and I cannot wait to show you as things progress. Um, just keep showing your support, and uh, I will uh, do my best. Um, I'm excited about all the new changes and the growth, but um, if you guys have any questions about mantids and stuff, I'm going to hop on here quite a bit more, especially as the uh, shop you know, evolves and turns into a store slash the back area, which will be a shop and the other, you know, an office and all that work. I do a lot of my YouTube stuff, but anyway, I hate the cold. It's cold out now. All I want to do is stay in my shop. Um, anyway, that's now the great reveal, the Reptile Depot, um, because the building was originally called the Depot for this town, so... Anyway, you'll see uh, you'll see more on that. Um, see you guys later. I gotta get back to work. Bye. Oh, I can't turn this off. This is embarrassing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good luck with the shot, man. Yeah, thank you. Let's see here.